hey guys welcome back to my channel or well, rather welcome to my channel in this video i'm going to be creating this ponytail and this look so if you like what you see then stay tuned this hair is super affordable if you're in nigeria it costs 800 naira to create this hair and if you're in the overseas if you're using dollars it costs i think about two dollars so like yeah super budget friendly make sure you subscribe give this video a thumbs up and leave me a comment tell me what you think do you guys think that you're going to recreate this if you recreate this and you have an instagram account please tag me at belema ogulu also um there's someone else on youtube that has created a similar look but she did it in a different way um I'm going to link her channel in the description box and the video as well so in case you find this hard you can just follow her routine but either way both of them work so yeah and this hair is like long you guys see it's like waist it's not even waist length it's like all the way yeah so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe so to create this ponytail you're going to need a pack of braiding hair this is the um expression ultra braid pack and it is it costs 800 naira, super affordable and it's super long as well so next you're going to need to cut the hair in two yep and it's going to look just like this take out the rubber band and then split the hair into three parts i split it into three parts just because it makes it easier for me to do the next step which you're about to see okay so now you're going to feather the ends of the hair and just see that by picking a piece and just pulling in it that's just it just pick a piece pull pick a piece pull just like that and then don't worry if it gets tangled you're going to be able to brush it down and make it look okay very soon. Just keep watching, you see how I do that. Okay, so when you're done, this is what it's going to look like. And then just take a weave on or wig brush and just brush through, starting from under. Don't worry if it takes time, just brush for as long as you can. Then do the same thing for the remaining, for the other two. Um, portions like so so you should have this by the time you're done okay so next get a thread or yarn or whatever i'm using wool here and just wrap it around the chair when you're done wrap now on the chair then cut it like i'm doing yep and then you want to make sure you tie the thread or wool tightly around the chair now you're going to get one of the portions of feathered braiding hair and then take a portion of a portion of that from the portion that's so many portions but then you get what i mean like take a little bit of it from the portion and make sure you don't take a, a bit a portion that's too small takes a big enough portion <laughs> okay now you have to crochet right but you have to attach that piece of hair that you just separated from the larger bundle of hair onto the thread and this is why you had to tie the thread super tight onto the chair because you're going to be pulling on it a lot and that's why you also need a lot of thread on the chair so you can prop properly attach the hair to the thread without the cutting so yeah i'm just going to do this other one and then we're going to do same for for the entire pack of breeding hair now we're done and now you want to braid each portion of you want to braid each of the um when i say bundles of hair each of the pieces of hair and then don't braid it all the way to the end and you're going to see why soon
okay so now we're done and the hair kind of looks stiff so just like when you braid just like when you get your hair braided we're going to put this in hot water you're going to see me do it soon so you're going to need a bowl and you're going to need hot water obviously put the entire body of hair into I don't know why I'm touching the hot water like it's not hot. <laughs> anyway, you're going to need hot water to be on all the braids. Like you need all the braids to be super soaked in hot water. Okay, so now this is what the hair looks like when it's dried. And then the next step is probably the step I hated doing the most, which is loosening the hair. So make sure you just take your time. Um, and losing the hair in bits don't like try to um losing it super fast where you tangle the hair just take your time be patient you don't have to do this all in one day so as you can see the hair is already starting to look kinky so yeah i think you get where this is going already so just losing it you can use a comb if that is going to make the process easier for you anything that makes it easier for you don't rush yourself just take your time this took me about four days if i'm not mistaken just because not because it can't take one day but because i just had other things to do Okay, so now we're just going to lose in all the hair. <laughs> I wish it was that easy. <laughs> okay, so this is why we had to, we didn't braid the hair all the way to the end to give it that kinky effect. So now you're going to need a ponytail mesh wig cap and two combs. And then um, the combs usually are not attached to the ponytail mesh, so you're going to have to sew that in. So that's what I'm doing right now, just sewing the combs onto the mesh cap and then when you're done you want to put the cap on your door head so i couldn't find my t-pins and i'm just going to use office pins they did work pretty well when you're done with that next step is to take each piece of hair from the thread from the line of braids that you loosened and then you're going to part those into smaller pieces and you're going to see why soon. So now you're going to need a crochet pin, and what you're going to do with crochet pin is slide the crochet pin through the mesh cap, open the latch of the crochet pin, then put the hair into the latch. Make sure you close the latch, pull it through the cap. And then drop the pin. Drop the pin. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And then pull the rest of the hair through the loop and secure it tightly, just like that. Exactly. So you're going to do this for the entire wig cap. Don't worry. Like I said before, you do not have to do this in one day. If you notice, my outfits kept changing because like I kept on doing this over a period of about five days. So. Don't rush yourself if you can't do this in one day. It is very doable in one day, but then it's a tiring process, especially if you have other things to do. I decided to do um, this piece above the bottom of the hair because I kind of wanted the um, top part of my ponytail to be fuller than the rest of the hair. So yeah, I just decided to do the top. And then I also just wanted to see what the length would be like. So yeah, we're just going to do this crochet around the mesh, around the borders of the, the mesh ponytail cap. Oh yeah, if you notice, I started doing double um, crochets because I just wanted to make sure that the hair is secure and tight. So if I have to brush it or if I have to like put my hand through the hair, it doesn't, you know, loosen. So yeah, I just kept on going round and round around the um, the mesh cap. So just keep going. Don't worry if you get tired. If you notice my outfit changed again. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just going to fold that. I think we're on the last piece right now. Don't worry if the middle is not full. Um, the rest of the hair from up top is going to cover it. You're going to see very soon what it's going to look like.
so yeah see what i mean after putting the hair down you can't see that the middle is scanty so yeah i'm just arranging the hair just trying to move strands around so yeah this is what it looks like yep love it love it and this hair is super full you guys very very full and it's not stiff and then if you want you could spray oil on the hair um okay so <laughs> this is me <laughs> with no makeup on and about to try on the ponytail so you're going to want to fit the first comb in and then the second comb under your ponytail and then pull the drawstring flip your head over yes girl okay all right so this is what the ponytail looks like and then <laughs> okay okay we see you okay you want now get a piece of hair from the side or behind the ponytail like so yep and then you're going to want to wrap that piece around the base of the ponytail this just makes the hair look more realistic and makes it look nicer <laughs> i have hair in my mouth <laughs> okay so just wrap that all around your hair or all around the base of um, the ponytail And then don't worry if you, if the wrapping is not tight it doesn't have to be tight okay <laughs> okay we see all right so next i used hair mousse and um, gel just to style and make sure that my actual hair stays in place i should have done this before putting on the ponytail but then i didn't so yeah for a little face bit just stay tuned yep yep oh yes okay self-admiration all right all right <laughs> yep so this is the ponytail and the final look i hope you guys enjoyed this thank you for watching and feel free to recreate this it's super easy <laughs> why did i bend on like that anyway i absolutely love this hair <laughs> got in my mouth again all right, you guys. Bye.